The chances of a last layer skip are 1 in over 15,000, and today, I'm not stopping until I get one. This could take hours. Mm. Not a last layer skip. Okay, I'm 50 solves in, and unsurprisingly, I didn't get a last layer skip. But there are some ways I can control how likely a last layer skip is. For example, the last F2L slot can be solved differently depending on the last layer pieces you see in algorithm sets like VLS. And this should greatly increase your chances of a last layer skip. And with those tricks in mind, I'm gonna get back to solving. I didn't consider, however, that I didn't know VLS. I have like something where I could probably force an OLL skip. I know in another video I used DJ Cubes' method to get an OLL skip every time. I don't know how to do that anymore, unfortunately. Okay, so that wasn't much help, but I do have one more secret weapon. So there was a method invented by DG Cubes in 2016 called Cfinity, where you solve F2L, but instead of doing the last layer, you just start F2L again on a different side. So I'm gonna do red, I have the red cross already done and an F2L pair already put in and still no last layer skip. So I'm gonna try yellow. And I just do that over and over and over again until I inevitably get a last layer skip. I'm trying to combine the edge orientation and like OLL skip tips with the Cfinity method. Red looks pretty promising actually. What if I do a triple sledgehammer? U2, triple sledgehammer. And that gives me an H perm. I was so, so close. Wait a second. Okay, I'm gonna solve in white. If I do that, and then swap these two with an algorithm, but I move this over one. Done with F2L, and I have a last layer skip. So yeah, I technically got a last layer skip because what I just did was part of F2L after doing F2L a bunch of times beforehand. So make sure to subscribe. I wanna to get to 2000 subscribers by the end of the year. I'll see you in the next one.